these are built in concrete and, and brick, you can actually store heat. So when there's a cold front coming in, you preheat the buildings with district heating, which is uh, fossil fuel free here in Umeå. And then when it gets really cold, you take the building out from the core of the building and into the apartments. So it's a quite a smart city technology, but it's also using the very old and heavy buildings that you can store heat in. And this was piloted in this area. They are taking the best quality materials from all over the Europe to build this house. And the carpenter is, comes from Denmark. The doors are come from Osteris. There is no plastic at all. We don't want to, to have any conflict with the environment. For the heating of the, the house is maximum 15 kilowatts per square meter. So it's very, very little. We have a ventilation system who is very, very expensive, but very, very smart. You can see that someone is here now because of the small, you see the small button there in the middle, it shows you. And we will go into the ventilation system and, and look. The biggest issue we have is actually to get rid of the heating. We take out 23.4 degrees from the house and we send in 16.8 degrees. We can take about 90% of the heating from the, from the uh, uh, exhaust and to take it to the inside instead. So it's, it's really good. In this building we've done uh, the project called demand side management. We put sensors, for example, in the corridors but also in offices and in, in lecture halls to measure occupancy, CO2, temperature, and by combining uh, sensor data, we could find out if, for example, a lecture hall is booked and used, or booked and not used, or spontaneously used. This is a bus station, a new kind of bus station here in Umeå and also the first in, in this way, I think, in, in the whole world. But this bus station is alive in that normally you would have to look for a bus if it's coming. But this bus station tells you actually that the bus is coming. So you can lean in one of those pods and just be really relaxed. You can even close your eyes and then you will hear a sound when the bus is coming and you will also, when you look at the ceiling, you will see the colors of the bus line that is actually coming. This, as a research project, contributes to the knowledge in the field of mobility. And hopefully that knowledge will be used in the future uh, in building more intelligent cities, which is not necessarily just more technological, but it's more intelligent in the sense that they will serve uh, humans and nature in a better way, in a more sustainable way. We built a two-section garage. One is uh, the first uh, warm garage in Umeå for uh, bikes. And then we have this, uh, maybe the most important one, the U-bike, this uh, electric uh, cargo sharing bike pool here in Umeå. And uh, each citizen can use an app and uh, book the bike, and then you can um, yeah, find your way around the city. I've seen a lot of different uh, age groups, from uh, uh, grandmothers and grandfathers with uh, children, to also going groceries, you see a lot of these kind of uh, behaviors. This uh, cargo bike pool has been really successful in that uh, way. <laughs>